Yo guys, what's up? It's Warsprit. Big news yesterday is that the Overwatch beta is coming back on the 9th of February, which is this coming Tuesday. So it's not very far away at all, which means it's time to get back to business. These Blizzard guys are really like keeping their, their release dates very close to their announcements. So they've given us just under a week to prepare ourselves for the hype. Definitely like, pretty pumped up about it. Looking forward to getting back in and some first person shooter action. I definitely have managed to keep myself busy in the Overwatch downtime. Time has actually gone in pretty quickly. It's not like it's been dragging on or anything. I have played a bunch of Fallout, which I had a ton of fun in. Played a lot of the new Diablo 3 update, which was also a ton of fun. Just maxing out my character again and just farming, <laughs> grinding a little bit in Diablo was a lot of fun for a while. And then a couple of other games I've checked out. It seems there's been a ton of beta tests already in 2016. Every company's wanting to show off their game for their upcoming launches this year. So played the Division beta, played some Paragon and Paladins. And then recently I checked out the Star Citizen Alpha there as well, which was mind-blowing how good the graphics were in that game. It was insane. Although it's not my type of game, it was just wow uh, for graphics. The other game I was checking out quite a bit there was Blade and Soul, which is just another MMORPG. So played quite a bit of that, but there were some systems I didn't really enjoy so much in it, like farming bosses so you can progress through the game to unlock your next tier of weapon and things like that. So that was a little bit weird. But on the other side of progression systems, Blizzard is bringing their progression system to Overwatch in the phase two of beta. So starting from 9th of February, there's gonna be some sort of races going on to get to maximum level first with whatever hero or whatever system they've implemented, what rewards they're gonna have. Will we see some skins or anything like that in this phase two of Overwatch beta? I'm really looking forward to what this progression system is going to bring to Overwatch. The other big thing about the update is that a new game mode is coming, a third game mode is being added with this phase 2 of beta which I am super excited about. They have not announced what this new game mode is, we have no idea what it is or what it could be or who it's for, if it's for competitive or casual or anything like that. I have my hopes and dreams <laughs> for game modes. There's definitely some game modes that I want to see in Overwatch. I did feel that having just two game modes wasn't quite enough in the first phase of beta and I was really hoping to see a third mode get added. Hopefully we're going to see even more than three at launch. The fact that the third mode is getting added in beta is pretty cool so I'm happy enough with that for now as long as the new game mode's not absolutely rubbish. So no idea what this new game mode is going to be but my hopes are for less of these sort of long corridor pathing sort of maps and more arena focused maps where maybe we've got a rotating capture point or something like that sort of like crash site if you don't know what crash site is it's a crisis 2 crisis 3 game mode which i absolutely love it's where basically a pod drops out of the sky and teams have to go and capture it and while they hold that capture point their score for the team is increasing and then it blows up and then another pod appears somewhere else on the map and they have to go capture that one instead i think that would fit in perfectly in overwatch the only other mode that would be nice to see as well as a uh, capture the flag mode. Even though Blizzard keeps shooting that idea down, it could work in Overwatch. There's, they definitely can't say that, oh, we can't put capture the flag in because it just wouldn't work. It would work if they just made some tweaks to the way capture the flag works. <laughs> so, yeah, really excited about that. So I'll definitely be playing a ton of Overwatch next week. Whenever I have free time, I'll be playing it. Uh, eat, sleep, work, and Overwatch is my plan. And we'll see if I can get a video out in the next week as well to see what's changed for the beta. I also plan to be streaming next week as much as I can. My stream schedule is pretty much 9pm UK time every night. Let's see if I can stick to it for next week at least for the launch of the game. I should probably do some test streams or something this weekend so I definitely need to remember to do that at some point just to make sure everything's working correctly. So make sure you come and check that out next week for some Overwatch action. Twitch.tv slash X is the place you need to be. Man I can't wait to get back into playing some Tracer jumping around the map and blasting people with my little pulse pistols, rewinding time and all this crazy stuff man it's going to be super awesome. We actually have a, a little Overwatch team meeting tonight for the beta coming back to, to discuss what our plans are, uh, who's all available for tournaments and things like that, trying to work out a, a solid six-man roster for these next upcoming tournaments. Tournaments are already starting as soon as the beta comes back, which is pretty crazy, so 
<laughs> we'll see if we can actually get stuff sorted by the time the, the first tournament starts, which is on the Saturday after the Tuesday that the beta launches. I can definitely see it being a, a rough tournament for most teams. Everyone's going to be super rusty. Anything really can happen in that situation. Like, the best teams could get taken out in the first round, but I'm guessing those best teams are probably going to be playing all week, so uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. It's going to be weird playing, like, a competitive serious match four days after beta launch when there's not going to be many scrims having been played or anything like that. But anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the little gameplays there in the background. Just some phase one beta stuff that was pretty cool that I never really got a chance to upload anywhere else. And fingers crossed to get to see you guys in phase two because Blizzard have said that they plan to open this one up a bit more and get some more participants in. So chances are we might see some more of you guys in there. Fingers crossed for you all. Thanks for watching guys. See you in my next video. Bye bye.